you might have a button that says enable editing. Go ahead and click that too, because I want you to be able to edit it. I want you to be able to get in there and edit documents. Uh, real quick, um, yeah, thumbs up if you get it open. Real quick, if you haven't been able to do the warm up for me from Tuesday, I remember we were supposed to do it in class and we ran out of time. At some point, do that warm up and send it over to me as, in a picture form. You can take a picture of it. Don't put it in Canvas, just email it to me so I can. I want to add your data to this too. Because we're going to come back and play with this sheet on Tuesday again. Sorry, I what It's the warm up from Tuesday. I had you a sheet where you played five games Waffle, Wordle, Global, yeah. New York Times Mini. Play those, write down your scores and email them over to me, and I'll add them into this. This was everybody that was able to get the scores to me. You can today if you want. I'll add it in for Tuesday because we're going to come back to this spreadsheet on uh, Tuesday to kind of play with it. Some more. Give me a thumbs up if you got it to open, okay? Yeah. This is just today's just again first week of class. So I don't want to terrify you. Hopefully I have it already. Y'all came back. That's a good sign. I think y'all came back. Shit, I didn't check anybody in. I'm going to assume you're all here. Um, let's click over to World Scores. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, let's just look at world scores. And do me a favor, we're not going to have enough time to move around with this a whole lot. Everybody, delete, select and delete all this stuff that says grouped data over here. I, I updated this sheet earlier and I forgot to update it in Canvas. So just get raw data lines if you need it. So just focus. And if you don't want to delete it, you can just ignore it and just look at these data points, which are the ones I've got so far. So all of you that sent me scores was awesome. All of you that sent me the score were able to get the world that day. And if you don't, tell me. Like on the warm up, it actually says like I couldn't get world this day. I'm only on my I'm on a streak of eight right now because it got shut down nine days ago. I forget what word it was, but it totally it was one of those ones where it was like I G H T, and I didn't have the first letter. I'm like it could be night, it could be light, it could be right, it could be sight, it could be tight. <laughs> I'm like, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> and I just guessed and I guessed wrong like three times. But anyway. So all of you that sent me, you, you said four lines, but four guesses, four guesses, six guesses, four guesses, three guesses, six, four, and three. That's awesome. I'll have more data hopefully by Tuesday for us to play with. But this is good right now. I have a question for you because we're going to shift gears now in the last 10 minutes of class. If you had to describe this data set, One number. What number would you pick to represent the data set? If you would, a typical value of this data set. Typical. Typical. Typically, this data set is, or typically, a student in this class takes this many lines to get world. So, Drew's got a vote back there. You're voting, and G Man agrees with. Yeah, yeah, we got. We have a. We have a. We have three agreed. Give me, give me your fingers over your face. We can vote this way. Seems to be the way we're voting. I love this. I love this. Thank you. Everybody's doing it. I think it's great. We can vote. We can vote with our. Is that a vote or is that a question? That's a vote. Oh, I like this. So we got a bunch of votes for this. We have got one vote for this. <laughs> we got a lot of votes for this. Okay. Kind of like this anyway. Okay. Lots of four. Lots of fours. I love that. Why four? This is the most common number. Mm -hmm. Oh, you dare you. Oh, two? It's the mode. Oh, four. Four, I'm how dare you, Drew? <laughs> I've heard four, and you're using a statistical term, which I love. Some of you may have learned this term before. Those of you that have never taken a statistics class before and are picking four, why are you picking four? It's the most common number. Ooh! Come back to that. Say that again, G-Man. Most common numbers. So of those numbers in that list, how many are one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. There's ten numbers in that list. Ten numbers in that list. Five of them are four. Five of them are four. Three of them are six. And then there's two of them are three. So we got two threes, five fours, and three sixes. The number that shows up the most often is four. Okay, I'm not going to scratch this down because I want, I want today to be kind of a conversational more than a note. We'll do notes on Tuesday. That is a statistical term. The data point that shows up the most often 
and we've heard it twice now, is called the mode, M-O-D-E. That is the mode, I love that. I promise I am. Week two is my week two is my week first. You said average. Mm-hmm. Were you thinking four for the average? Yeah, around four. Around four. Oh, around four. Oh, is anybody else thinking average? Was anybody else thinking average? No. Oh, Sean was. Okay, so yeah. Four. Well, I was. I was about to ask what you were trying to, what you wanted us to express oh, about this day. I did not specify so. because I'm a bastard. Yes. <laughs> which is no, why I, I didn't specify because I wanted you to tell me what you thought of. So first of all, we've got one answer for the mode because it shows up the most often. Has anybody calculated the average yet? I did. You? How did? Oh, Lexi did too. Yeah. No. What was that? Kirsten. Four point four. Ooh. Ooh. Four point four. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I got. Four point four. Mm mm. Tell me how you did it, Kirsten. If you don't mind. Got all the things in Excel. Yes. Then I uh, when I went, uh, I went. Oh, quick analysis. Months. Yeah, that'll actually give it to you. Yeah. Right. Average, and then I went and <laughs> Yeah, so, thank you. Anybody else find the average? Sean, you did it too, right? How'd you find the average, brother? Uh, I just added it up. You added up all the data? Yeah. And what'd you do with it then? Then I divided it by the number of data points. Who's heard that before? Who's heard that before? Added them all up. Oh, hands up, nice and high. No more of these face votes for today. <laughs> I love the face votes. Oh, all of church! <laughs> all, everybody in church just voted. We've heard of the average. Why? The mode's easy. We pick the mode because it shows up the most. There's nothing to explain there, right? It just, it's the most. Why do we add up and divide by having there are? Anybody? Anybody? Oh. <laughs> Y'all do it, right? Everybody does it. Yes. Yeah, everybody's been doing it since you were like three. Well, not three. Third grade, fourth grade. I remember learning it when I was very young. This is how you find an average. Yes, Sister Grace. <laughs> Okay, I need 10 volunteers. Get up here. I need 10 volunteers. 10 volunteers. Get your butts up here. Come on. It involves lollipops. <laughs> it involves lollipops. Fine. G Man. Christine. I know you're about to. I don't know. We're up to fine. I haven't had them either. I just saw them and I saw them. Yeah. Okay, if you, if you all don't mind, we're going to turn this it's leg off, stand in a straight line. I need three more volunteers, damn it! I need three more volunteers up here! Chelsea, get up here. Sean, I wanted to see it directly into the light. I know. Oh, oh, there we go! I need, I need, I need, she's there directly into the light. I need one more volunteer! You don't get a lollipop, so you're standing right anyway. That's what you get for waiting last. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, this is perfect. Now, I've given each of you a number of lollipops. Don't worry. It's an important reason. Hold them up so everybody can see them. Hold them so everybody can see them. That's awesome. Some of the bouquets have more than others. Yeah. I want you all to tell me. There's ten people up here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. Ten people. On average, how many lollipops do each of those ten people have. And here's what you're not allowed to do. You're not allowed to add up how many there are total and divide by 10. But you do have to figure out the average. And everybody in the rest of the church that isn't at the altar can help by shouting instructions at them. If you, get, you might want to take the rubber bands off, for sure. The rubber bands are only there for me to keep them in groups. You can take the rubber bands off if you want. Why do we add up and divide? Why do we? I know, sorry, but some of them are a little bit tight to get off. I apologize. There you go. Thank you, Allison. Part fun. So what do you what do you think? Chelsea, what do you think? You're looking down the road. What are you thinking? Are you pissed off that Allison has like 20,000 lollipops and you have one? I'm cool with one, but You're cool with one? I'm just okay. trying to see how many the maximum somebody has. Oh, the maximum. Okay. And how about the minimum? Yeah. Zero. Zero. Zero is the minimum, yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Anybody have any ideas? How we can find the average without summing up all the lollipops? Maybe put them in order from least to most lollipops. Do it! Do it! Zero, one, two. Are you already in order? Oh, we got another one. Bring the one in here. This is a very good idea. I love this. <laughs> this is nice. What is what is ordering us? What is ordering us? Yeah, make sure you 
three minutes to figure this out. I think we can do it. <laughs> what does ordering get? What does that tell us? So you have three people that have two. Yes. You see, you have three people that have two. And, and then three people that have five. Oh my god, it's bimodal. There's two modes. 